Now, Fox 16 Sports with Jay Burr. Well, that is quite a graphic transition. Well, we begin tonight with Dem Cowboys. This training camp is still in its infancy, but in cowboy fashion, the drama is always there. With reports that Ezekiel Elliott is jet-setting to Cabo while holding out for a contract extension, but a familiar face returns to help out in the backfield. Alfred Morris signed a one-year deal with the Cowboys despite interest from the New Orleans Saints. Morris was with the boys for the 2016 and 17 seasons. Now touching the golden age of 30, at least for running backs, the big guy still says he can contribute meaningfully to Dallas. You know, I'm always going to show up. I'm going to give my best. You know, what, whatever they do in the back end, that's, that's up to them. That's not, that's not my business. You know, like, yeah, yeah, I'm always ready. I mean, any, any of these backs to say that, you know, like, that's, that's what we do. We love what we do. We're good at what we do. You know, any of us can be featured. So I know I'm definitely confident in myself so that I can be a feature back. I still have it. I'm sure I feel better now than I did my rookie year. So, you know, I'm good. Now, the entire Cowboys team is looking to build off their 10-win season from last year. And hopefully they can work things out with Zeke and continue to improve on the defensive side. The D had three picks today, actually, in practice today. Offensively, the team has some newer weapons to play with to hopefully boost the scoring this coming season. And all that gives former signal caller Tony Romo reasons to be optimistic. You know, I'm excited about the Cowboys and their season. They have a great football team, as complete a team as they've had maybe, you know, since I've been in the NFL, just from an offense, defense, you know, special team, special teams, coaches' perspective. I mean, they really do have um, one of their best teams they've ever had. So I'm hoping they have a great season this year. A little closer to home now as the Hogs are set to begin their fall camp in a matter of days, but it's not like the players haven't been putting in the work, especially in the QB room with two transfers set to ballot out in fall camp. It's one of the bigger question marks on the Hogs roster. But regardless of who takes the helm, strength and conditioning coach True Carroll says both Ben Hicks and Nick Starkle are already helping get this team off to a good start. All of them have been vocal really since January. That's one position group that's grown, I think, the most since this time last year. Because, I mean, you look up every time we come in on Saturdays or off days, those quarterbacks get guys together. They're throwing, they're catching, they're running routes. And, I mean, that wasn't the case last year. And they're doing, I mean, you almost have to run them out of the facility at times just because you don't want them to overwork themselves. And it's really attributed to, to the leadership that, that those guys have, have taken on in that quarterback room. Tonight's Fearless 40 is sponsored by McClarty Auto Group. Well, just a little under a month away until we have kickoff of the Arkansas high school football season. It's creeping up. It is palpable. But to satisfy your football cravings for now, we have our Fearless 40 countdown. And tonight, it's the Riverview Raiders. Raiders coming off a 2-8 and eight season last year, but they've injected some new blood into their program. And new head coach, Drake Weiser, who comes over from Desarc. Now, a new coach can inject some life into a program, but these seniors this year are the ones who are going to set the tone. Leadership is the big key this year. We've got to, everybody's got to step up and not be, can't be timid about what's going to happen. Without leadership, you don't have anything. You'll be decent if you have, like, good players, but, like, I'm saying, if you have leadership, then I think you go a longer way. I'll be interested to see how they uh, turn things around this season. Well, I know. It's not football season yet, but when schedules get released, we got to talk about it. The Arkansas State Red Wolves released their full hoop schedule today as part of the Sun Belt releasing the conference portion of the schedule. 17-game home slate is on the docket, featuring the first home tournament for the Red Wolves, at least for them hosting, since 1993. That'll feature the Virginia Military Institute, UC Davis, and Idaho. Other highlights include road trips to Colorado State, Tulsa, Ole Miss, Red Wolves have a 20-game conference slate, and those rival games against the Little Rock Trojans will be Saturday games, thankfully. February 8th, right here in Little Rock, and February 2nd, up there in Jones Boogie. So, you know, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here, mm. but really, it's all about the football season. Mm -hmm. Hook me up with the IV right in the veins. Right. Let's go. It is here. 
you can feel it in the air. Hopefully, Jeff can give us some more fall-like weather. That would be great. Wait, 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 wait. It's still summer, okay? Come it on. is still summer, but you know, when you're talking <laughs> football, you just feel like it's got to be a little crisp in the air. But, uh, but I get it. Yeah, it cools off at night, though. So it does cool off at night, so yeah. he, he does kind of help us out a little bit there. <laughs> a little bit. And you were right. You had just about everything in your sports cast. Yeah. Uh, you know, when the, when the guys got to give them a break sometime, you know, you, you can't slack when, when you bring in the bullpen. You did not slack. That's for sure. <laughs> you hit a home run. Thanks All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You bet. Stay with us. We'll be back. Good job. <laughs>